what's up? It's like the middle of the night. My ears are so freaking plugged. I don't know if it's my ears or my nose. What's going on? So I'm here actually, and I don't want this to come off the wrong way. We actually are at 22 confirmed challenge members so far. The reason I'm making this video right now is because sorry I'm trying to clear out my nasal cavity I know that's disgusting I apologize in advance but I can barely talk it's 1125 at night here in Arizona I slept for a little while but the purpose of the video that I'm making right now is I got some private messages that people were kind of talking about different things as far as like my want or need to be able to charge for the meal plans. Now, I'm not going to name names. It's not about that. But it did raise some um, thoughts in my mind. Originally, I started this group with the intention of not to charge people, to do it as well as I can without charging people um, on the YouTube. You know, I make a small amount off of YouTube videos. Um, if anybody actually ever wants to see my YouTube stats, what I make off that, I'm no problem telling anybody. Um, you can also go to a site called Social Blade, and they can tell you what I make there, or something like that. But that being said, um, the bracelets that I sent out yesterday in the last few days cost me about $212 because I keep track of all that, what all that costs. Um, and I don't charge for them. I do it free of charge. Um, I don't charge for my videos. Um, I don't charge for the challenges. In this specific challenge, it was an optional thing to either use previous meal plans or you could have purchased a new set of meal plans to get kind of like a fresh thing. Now why I do that is because this is my, my entire life. Um, and I'm only explaining all this because I think maybe I came off a little too strong with it. I'm not sure. Um, and I asked people if I should charge for meal plans. Everybody says, yes, um, you have to make money. And at the end of the day, I don't want to. Um, but at the end of the day, like I sold my truck yesterday because my internet is getting shut off for the second time in two months. Um, I have a phone bill that, and you're probably like, well, John, you just went to London. I did. I didn't pay for the ticket. <laughs> Somebody else paid for the ticket. Um, and which went probably is not what you're expecting. Um, but besides that, I sold my truck to keep the dream alive. Um, like yesterday, I paid over $120 to ship out boxes to the challenge winners. I'm not complaining about these things. That's not what I'm doing right now. I'm not bitching about having to do those things. I love making the sacrifice. I do. Because I'm a philanthropist at heart. I love giving back. Um, and that's the idea. But at the end of the day, I do have, you know, bills to pay. I do have a future to create. I try to make it the smallest impact possible on others. You know, when I ask you to go to Amazon, which is a for-profit site, um, let's face it, most of us already shop on Amazon anyway. I do. Um, and if you use my links, it doesn't cost you anything nothing at all there's not a commission added on to that it is not um it doesn't cost you anything extra 
I just say, hey, if you're going on Amazon and you need to get these products to start it, if you do, if you don't, I don't care, it's whatever. Um, but if you shop regularly on Amazon, I say, hey, hit me up for a link because I get a commission um, and you don't have to pay any more, so why not? You know what I'm saying? Like if, if you're okay with what I'm doing to be able to help you out, if, if what I'm doing helps you out, then help me out. You know what I mean? Like that's just kind of like a barter system or whatever. Um, and I've created those things. Trust me, there's guys out there that I know one specific person that I create customized meal plans for $25. I know a couple guys out there that are doing the same exact thing that I'm doing that are charging $99 for those meal plans. And they're getting rid of a lot of them. They got a bigger following than me, way bigger following than me. And they sell tons of them. I sell mine for 25 that's a quarter of the price. In the challenge, I offered them for 10 You didn't have to buy them. You could have used the meal plans that are in, that are previous, that were for previous challenges. But I figured, you know, it would give me an opportunity to make some income, or at least cover some of the expenses of things that I ship out that I don't get paid for. And if I could, still offer you know the support the videos are free um, all of that basically what I'm saying is I know this is kind of th this is my life okay this you guys are my entire life and maybe I should have consulted more people I talked to about 25 people before I um, did the whole offering to um, charge for meal plan things Let's be honest, a lot of people kind of eat their own way and stuff like that. Um, the people that would be in the position to purchase the meal plans are usually, <coughs> excuse me, usually people that are new here that don't understand the way of eating. And the way of eating is very important, whether it's portion control, whether it's the uh, foods that you're supposed to be eating and stuff like that. And these meal plans, to be honest, if you bought, you know, two or three meal plans, you get a pretty good idea. If you pay attention, if you don't be lazy about it or whatever, you can get a pretty good idea of what's made up of this. I'm not trying to sell you meal plans indefinitely for the rest of your life. That's not my idea. Um, I know that it's kind of like, you know, it's baby steps. I walk you through the first little process. It takes me time to write them. You know, it takes time out of my day whether I could be making videos that actually pay me or I have to write meal plans that don't pay me. So the reason I thought of an idea of charging for those is because it takes time away from other things that I could be doing to make money. All my kayak rental, because I have a small kayak rental business, if you guys know that, um, and all my money from that goes into this. Uh, and, and that's hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I recently took out my 401k when I quit my job to do this, to serve you guys. Um, and I paid off my car, I paid off any bills I had and I don't benefit from that. I'm not looking to get rich off of $10 freaking meal plans. The guys, let's get realistic you know what I'm saying like it's not about that it's about trying to stay afloat to be able to um, continue to provide a service for you guys uh, I don't think you know honestly if I could get you to say you have say you're 350 pounds and very realistically I could get you to lose 50 60 pounds in two months if I can get you to lose that and you had to pay 80 bucks for meal plans Nowhere in the world, nowhere in the world can you go and lose 60 pounds for 80 bucks. It's just not going to happen. You know, people pay all day long thousands and thousands of dollars to lose 10 pounds and gain 20. You know what I mean? Like, it's a faulty system. So the things I do is basically just compensating my time um, because that's time is money. You know what I mean? Like... If I wasn't writing the meal plan, I don't have to write the meal plans. I'm almost at the point where I don't even, I don't even want to charge for anything now. You know, I want to just maybe not write meal plans. I don't know if I screwed up by saying, 
you know, that I want to charge for them or whatever. I don't want it to go that way. You know, I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I don't want people to think that I'm trying to gouge them for money. You guys, I feel like shit asking for that freaking 10 bucks to write the meal plan. But at the end of the day, what do I freaking do? <laughs> you know, God forbid, I actually didn't live in a trailer with my mom. And um, if I had to actually pay rent, I wouldn't be able to do this. I would not be able to do something like this, you guys. Uh, I know people think maybe I don't have, you know, bills or whatever. I do. I have a cell phone bill. I have kids to take care of. I have insurance on my car. I have to pay credit card bills. I have to pay the internet. My freaking internet is $120 a month, and I can't get it any cheaper. <laughs> you know, it's not... These aren't things, everybody has bills to pay, you know. Um, I have to get equipment to be able to make videos. I try to make more interesting equipment and stuff, or more interesting videos. And thank goodness for people like Keith that, uh, there's that damn flower again. Who does that? <laughs> thank goodness for people like Keith. Keith has sent me an overwhelming amount of, like, studio equipment to be able to make better quality videos. He just paid for my editing software. You know, I the 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 amount of people that sacrifice for me. Look at this. Like these address labels that saves me time and money. These stamps saves me time and money. Karen just sent 20 bucks and plus, you know, two things of stamps. It, it, it's amazing how many people reach out and help me. You know, and at the end of the day, I don't want to, I don't, I feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know how long it takes to make 50 bucks. Karen sent that freaking box out. I used the exact box that Karen sent to ship out stuff to save money on the prize winners. And it cost the same exact, it was like 50 bucks to ship one box. You know what I mean? Like, that's not free, you guys. Um, I do have a huge outpour in help, but as we grow, the expenses grow, the time grows. It's 11.45 at night, and I'm getting people messages from people around the world asking me questions and stuff. I lose sleep. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Yes, I sell these dog tags for 12 bucks. I pushed them, and I'll keep pushing them. I will. I really will. <laughs> Because I think this is cool. This is like our brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be walking down the street. That's why we do the bracelets. You know, you throw on the dog tags. And I've been messing with it. And every time I'm messing with it, I'm just chilling here. I'm thinking, you know what? Eat right. Eat right. Make good, positive decisions. And it's just a good reminder for me. You know, I could look at it and it's got our brand on it. And I feel a sense of pride, you know, wearing this. And things like that, I think that's just part of being part of something you know 12 bucks is a, sh a shitload of money for me some of you guys maybe it's not as much um with this specific challenge look at these freaking hearts who is throwing all these damn hearts on here <laughs> thank you for sharing the love um all i see is hearts and a kitty cat <laughs> i am not you don't have to buy the meal plans it's not about that. It's really not. It's not about doing the lottery thing. The lottery thing was an idea because I don't want to ask you guys for more prizes for people. That stuff gets expensive. The first time I did it, the second time you guys did it, and I figured this time, hey, if everybody that it wants to be a part of that, they don't have to, but if they want to be a part of putting a fund together. If you're in the challenge, you don't have to buy meal plans. You don't have to do the lottery. But I figured, hey, if you're in the challenge and you're really competitive and you want, you you know, maybe you like to gamble, I don't know, or whatever you want to call it. It's not even gambling. It's kind of like a raffle. You want to put 20 bucks in a pot and 10 people do that, you know, there's, that'd be 200 bucks, you know, that somebody could win or whatever. You know, and I thought that would be cool for people that wanted to be a part of it. You don't have to. You don't have to buy the meal plans. You can use previous meal plans. You can eat a proper way that you want to. I just figured, hey, it would be a cool way for me to make, you know, some of the 
recoup some of the expenses as well as give somebody an awesome new meal plan every single week that they could feel positive about and the meal plan is yours you guys you take that home you put it on your fridge you take the next one home you end up with eight meal plans which you can literally eat you know weave them together and do different things and I still create free meal plans <laughs> like all the time yesterday last night as I'm getting the messages about me screwing up and you know turning into some huge um, some huge uh, money sucking thing it just feels like I'm I'm I don't feel like I am that you know what I'm saying like I don't think there's a magic pill to fix you I don't think you know it's right to charge obscene amounts for these things you go get a real meal plan a real meal plan. <laughs> my meal plans are not fake <laughs> sound adorable go get a meal plan designed by a nutritionist doing the same damn thing <clears throat> doing the same damn thing I'm doing and I promise you a nutritionist is gonna charge you upwards of 500 freaking dollars it's not a joke and I'm doing virtually the same thing and let's be honest on a nutritionist they're gonna have you eating fruit oatmeal rice all that you want results mine are proof in the lack of pudding <laughs> that uh, that you can benefit from these things if you told me if you came to me and said John if you pay me if I pay you 50 bucks I want to lose 50 pounds if I would pay $500 to lose 50 pounds you know what I'm saying like it you got to remember um, results aren't free the knowledge the time you guys it's not free I almost don't even want to charge for the meal plans now I feel horrible about it you know what I'm saying like I'm not trying to get rich off freaking meal plans you guys you know it's 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 just not gonna happen I'm not I'm not about that it, I'm not about that life dog life I'm sorry I'm not trying to rant it just feels shitty you know when I wake up in the middle of the night and I got a couple messages and you know people are feeling and I'm not saying those people are targeting me or saying anything negative I guess it's just me being defensive because I don't want to be looked at like the person that's trying to, you know, get rich quick off of people or whatever. Um, it's not about that. I make a very small combined, you know, little bits of money throughout things to barely stay afloat. And I thought, you know, that would be a good way to also do the same thing. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Maybe, but from what I've got from people, everybody said it was a good idea. You know, that, you know, I have to be able to cover my expenses and cover my time and stuff like that you know is it wrong to want to make money <laughs> you know is that wrong because in the end of the day you know I want to be successful successful on YouTube and be able to travel the world I have dreams aspirations I'm one of the most ambitious people I know you know why Because I don't know anybody <laughs> because I don't hang out with anybody because this is what I do I work 20 hours a day on being able to provide the most valuable service that I can for others and yeah sometimes it takes money to do that so let me read these comments and I'll shut up now apparently I'm on like some huge rant please don't take this in an offensive way I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings dude I know it's not free it, it's not easy to come up with money but the challenge is free there's free meal plans in the file section you don't have to be a part of the lottery none of it costs money it's all an optional thing if you want to do it if you want to send me a check for nothing, you can, you can do it. It's optional. If you don't ever want to pay a dime again, it's optional. You know, it's 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 not about the money. Let me read these. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> that's too bad. Anyway, it said something negative. It's obvious. More than ten dollars. You're evolving in something that you're passionate about I don't think you need to defend or another minute longer if someone does doesn't like that that's unfortunate I'm sure they can find another person that will do this for them <laughs> no you won't and you want it I don't even think you'll find you know the 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 amount of things that I've done so far 
And that's why I started all this, because there is nothing out there for help. But at the end of the day, dude, I did quit my job, and this is how I provide myself a living, you know? So you can win your back, money back for meal plans. You can win. Dude, If the, we have 22 confirmed people. I don't know what that is. Can somebody do the math for me? <laughs> Let me do the math real quick. Hold on. My phone's really slow. And you have no idea how many times a day people say, hey, I want to buy a meal plan. And I say, well, have you checked out the file section? I refer them over there because um, I don't want to charge people. You know what I'm saying? So let's do 22 times 20. If if those 22 people contributed, and it's going to get a lot bigger than that. I think it's probably going to be about twice or three times the size of that um, as far as people. If those 22 people contributed $20 each, that would be $440. And it's only 20 bucks. I mean, we could lower it to 10 We could lower it to 5 You know, whatever. I just figured, hey, 20 bucks. you know, that sets the stakes pretty good. I figured most people wouldn't be able to afford it. But if you get three or four people, maybe the people that are extremely motivated, you know, when somebody says, hey, I'm going to send you 20 bucks to put in that pool, you know what that tells me? That tells me that motherfucker wants to win this shit. That motherfucker is ready to kick some ass this month or these two months. You know what I'm saying? That just means they're dedicated. And that is freaking awesome. And I was just trying to think of actual different ways to be able to you know, motivate ourselves and stuff like that. I'm motivated by money. I'm motivated by competition. I'm motivated by winning. You know, I'm just trying to brainstorm with myself. It's not like One Big Impact Industries is like this huge pile of people that I can go to or whatever. It's just my thoughts against my thoughts against my thoughts against my thoughts. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just doing my best here. That's all I'm doing. What about making a, a paid group like a monthly subscription? I've thought about that. A lot of people have said that. Um, there was this guy that came to rent kayaks one time. He said, you know, if you had 3,000 members, 3,000 members in the group and you charged every member a dollar a month, $24 a year, that's $3,000 a month. I mean, the rest of it speaks for itself. That's so freaking low. It's not, it's ridiculous, you know. And we already got 2,120 some odd people or whatever. And if you think about it, um, that could be very feasible. You know, a dollar a month. Or even if, you know, if it was 250 a month. Can you imagine if two, two each person out of 3,000 people, let me do the math. It's not about huge amounts of money, you guys. So if it was 250 times 3,000, if the 3,000 people, if we got to 3,000 people and just locked it up there and said, hey, everybody's got to pay $2.50 a month, no other fees, nothing else. You don't pay for meal plans. You don't pay for nothing. Two dollars and fifty cents a month. That's what, fifty bucks a year, you know, for all the stuff, all the challenges, all the advice, all the information, all the videos, whatever. That's seventy five hundred dollars a month that I could make. Why the fuck didn't I do this a long time ago? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, like, and I've talked to that. I talked to that person, you know, when I was only at like a hundred members. You know, I could have done that a long time ago. And maybe I will. I don't know. But I don't know how to set up a system like that. I don't know if it's if it's a good idea, if it's a bad idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, that it, it's definitely doable. It's something we could think about. Um, but I don't also don't know if we have all those members that are, com, you know, committed to this type of lifestyle or whatever. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I've never even thought about that. <laughs> the Basically, the thing I'm saying is, Charging the 10 bucks for the meal plan wasn't about getting money. 
Otherwise, I would have done something like that a long time ago. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not about that. You can't keep paying out. You need something back able to carry on, dude. Thank you. Exactly, Jay. It's true, man. I, I've i contemplated selling my freaking car lately. I don't even want to say that too loud. Do you know how embarrassing that was last night, selling my freaking truck? I didn't even want to sell that truck, dude. But I got bills to pay, you know, collection department hit me up. It's not a joke, you know. Um, you do have to create a living, no matter how fantastic your dreams are. And I'm a very imaginative person. You know, I would, I would, man, if I had a billion dollars, I'd be paying you guys to be here. Like, seriously, I'd be like, lose 50 pounds and I'll give you a thousand bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would love to do that kind of stuff. But the reality is, I don't have no money. <laughs> um, how to send payment for the lottery. Um, just private message me your email address. <coughs> your email address and I'll send you an invoice via Square app. You just pay with your debit card or whatever. Thank you, by the way, Maria. One dollar a month is doable for anybody, I would think. It sounds like it's time to figure out how to do that subscription. I know, right? <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. I was like, damn, that'd be a really good deal. But then how do you know, you know, it's like a nightmare. What do you do? Like, did you pay your $2.50 today, Brianna? <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. You know, I don't know how that goes or whatever. But maybe it would be something I could uh, set up on like a recurring thing or something. I don't know. I think it would be cool. But then if you piss somebody off one month, who knows? It is cool though, as we grow, maybe we could put a cap on the group and then just, um, you know, as people don't um, pay, they just move on and do their own thing or whatever. I don't know, who knows? Hello, maybe you can make an app and it's an automatic payment. <coughs> Apps aren't free, damn it. Pay me. <laughs> that was a joke, see? I got a shitty sense of humor. No, they can't cancel. You're in it for life. For life. What is that? I almost want to start doing the math for that. <laughs> it's not for life. Healthy living. When you guys say HFLFAL or whatever, I'm like, whoa, that sounds like a gang sign, man. That's pretty hardcore. But yeah, no, you could, you'd be able to cancel that anytime. I'm not trying to talk you guys' ears off. And whoever. Don't ever feel targeted. I'm talking about this because I feel that it needs to be spoken about. You guys, I don't ever hide shit. I don't beat around the bush. Um, if we have an issue in the group, I'm the first one to address it. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if people are having problems with some shit I'm doing, I'm going to come straight forward and I'm going to talk about it. Like, I'm not going to. You know, I'm not going to put anybody on blast or anything. It's not about that. It's just, hey, if there's an issue, somebody has, you know, something they're concerned with in the group or if somebody has an issue, somebody's being, you know, bullied or any of that shit. We we hit that shit head on. We don't play games here. Um, and you see, it's midnight. I got like 45 minutes to sleep and I woke up because I figured it needed to be discussed. Now I'm going to be up for the next like six or seven hours working, which is cool. Because in London, where I was just at, it was um, it's probably like 8 o'clock in the morning. So that's kind of normal. Except for the fact that I haven't slept for like two or three days. <laughs> but, yeah, at the end of the day, you guys, I appreciate the love. Um, and I'm not trying to outcast or put anybody out or anything like that. Um, maybe if you guys ever have ideas or whatever, shoot them over. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm not trying to get rich off anything i have goals and dreams and none of them include pulling money out of your pocket to get rich <laughs> do i want to be rich no i want to have a house someday you know i want to be financially stable and i will be you know um but you can't be financially stable if you can't pay your freaking internet bill <laughs> that's the first thing beyond that you know what i'm saying like um 
I want to hit more subscribers as as the YouTube channel grows. Um, I will be able to uh, make more funds. I'm sure I'll end up with some kind of system that I'll sell someday. Um, I've already thought about that. Some kind of a uh, you know 30 day you know meal plan or whatever with all the information you need in a pamphlet. You know, sell it for 50 bucks or 100 bucks or something like that. You know, that's that's very realistic. You know, I have to evolve into something. As this grows, you guys, I am one person, you know, and you guys are 2,200 strong almost. You know, as that grows, and trust me, it's funny because I we've declined probably about 30,000 entries into this group um, because, you know, their, their ideas coming in here are completely skewed. So we would be a hugely massive group. But instead, we make sure we are a smaller group um, that is massively strong and close as we can be for such a um, large number of people. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go back, get back to work and stop um, complaining. I love you guys. Keep up the good work. We do have a challenge in order, regardless of what the hell happens. You know the meal plans that are in the file section are free and easily printable to use if you were able ever able not to um be able to get a meal plan dude i would give you one like i'm not it's not about that you know what i'm saying like it's not about that not at all about that you guys keep up the good work i am mostly focused on putting up some freaking amazing numbers for the 60 days amazing numbers 60 days oh if somebody hits 60 pounds I'm getting a tattoo and now everybody's like well you're gonna get a tattoo that we say and they're like you're getting a tramp stamp I'm like what the fuck dude I am not getting no damn tramp stamp oh my god what is wrong with people you guys have a good night remember to spread love not hate Hashtag be stronger than excuses. If you have any ideas or things that you think I could be doing differently, please let me know. Peace, guys.